Hey there, home athletes. Happy Tuesday. Um, as you can see, I have a running workout for you today. Nice and simple. This is kind of an aerobic capacity, cardio and vascular endurance piece today in the form of running with an interval style to it. So the way I have it written is six rounds, 800 meter run every five minutes. Now, having said that, the goal is to get each run done in four minutes or hopefully a little bit less so that you get at least one minute to rest and recover before the next run starts. So if it takes you exactly four minutes and you get exactly a minute to rest for the next one. So at least a minute. So think about this before we start. So 800 meters, of course, is half a mile. Um, you may know what your half mile time is or you may know what your mile time is. So think about your mile time for a moment. When you run a mile in a workout, how long does it take you? If it takes you, let's say, 10 minutes, then presumably it'll take you about five minutes to run 800 meters, which will not work for today's workout because you'll just be running continuously. So pick a distance, and I'm thinking probably either 800 as written, if not, switch that to a 600 meters. Pick a distance that you can run in four minutes or less. And we're not; These are not all out sprints. This should be kind of a uh, maybe an 80 to 85 percent effort, something that's consistent across the six rounds. Ideally, our runs today, your slowest run and your fastest run should be no more than 10, maybe 15 seconds between the to the slowest and the fastest. So we want um, strong, consistent pace. This is better to do as far as your fitness is concerned, as opposed to doing like two really fast runs and then get slower and slower and slower across the four. So. Pick a distance that you know you can get done with, you know, with some effort in four minutes or less. 800 meters, 600 meters, and of course, get it measured out prior to the workout. That's today's workout. That's it. Get your timer going. Six rounds. One round starts every five minutes. There you go. Um, so warm up today. Go ahead and take a nice, easy 400 meter run to start. Right. Get that done. Down and back. Um, and then uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six different movements that I want you to do for 30 seconds each. I'll show you what they are. These are basically just all kind of good mobility pieces that will help with the running today. So first we have knee hugs or knee to chest, whatever you want to call this one. We're just kind of bringing that shit in, pulling the knee in nice and tight to the chest and repeating, right? Just pull, pull, pull. Usually feel this kind of upper part of the hamstring here behind the hip. Pull 30 seconds here. Um, pigeon walk. And I always have people standing up to do this, but you can do actual pigeon pose on the floor if you want. I'd like to stay upright for this one. We're just going switching legs, kind of grab that heel, twisting that hip, oh, super tight on that side. Um, 30 seconds here, and you can stay in one spot or, or walk back and forth either way. Lunge and twist. These are also called helicopters right here. So this one can do a nice big lunge. We put one hand on the floor, and then we twist just towards that knee that's in the front. I'll do it the other way so you can see what I'll do. Lunge it out, nice big lunge, hand to the floor inside that front foot, and then we twist. The big thing here is make sure your chest is pointing towards this knee that's in the front, as opposed to the other way. You get a much better twist this way. So 30 seconds there, helicopter lunges or lunge and twist. Um, then a little quad stretch. One hand goes up, other hand goes back. We get that quad a good stretch in the front. All right, switch sides, 30 seconds there, back and forth. Soy soldiers, this one's for the hamstrings. Stand up nice and tall and kick up nice and high. You should feel, he's got a little, little kind of an active stretch on the hamstrings. And then last one, side shuffle. Pick a couple points on your floor. Um, keep the weight low, keep the knees bent. And we're just gonna shuffle back and forth. One side, one side, back and forth for 30 seconds. And those are just some good dynamic drills to get you warmed up for the running today. So. Score-wise, and you probably should keep track of this, at least for your, your own education, is uh, keep track of your times for each run. Again, I, I mentioned this earlier, ideally our slowest run and our fastest run should be relatively close, 10 seconds apart, maybe 50 on the outside. Shoot for 10 though, write them down as you go, and see how you do. I hope you do great. Have a good workout.